guys! Hello! Welcome to my living room again. Um, today I have a haul video for you. I'm gonna try. Um, I think what I'm gonna do is... Because I haven't figured out how to do voice overlay yet with my hauls, like film and then overlay it onto another portion of a video, and I haven't figured out all the editing stuff, um, the way that I'm gonna film this haul is... Um, this clothing haul is I'm actually just going to try on the clothes and tell you what I like about them while I'm wearing them. Um, I'm going to first start off though by showing you a couple of things that I got from Charming Charlie. Always use coupons. Always. The video, I might have to stop every once in a while to charge my battery because the battery looks like it's halfway. Um, but let's go ahead and get started. Um, the first thing I got were these cute little earrings from Charming Charlie. I love studs. I really like these jacket earrings and these one, these right here, they look like marble. Um, these were $12. Um, they were running a special on all jewelry, buy one, get one half. Uh, so I kind of took advantage of that. Um, the next thing I picked up from there was, I really like their delicate necklaces. Um, this one was 10. It has like the little coins on the bottom and it's just really, really nice. Um, I like I personally really like Charming Charlie's uh, jewelry. I find that it holds up well. Um, it's, it's decent quality for the price that you're paying. Um, Bobble Bar I actually really like, but I feel like they're kind of expensive. They're the same quality as Charming Charlie and they're like three times as much. Um, but I do really like both, but I prefer Charming Charlie. Um, this one I got on clearance. It was $6 and it's just the cube. They're kind of hard to get to go where you want them to go, but it's just a really pretty, uh, another really delicate looking necklace with little cubes on it. I just really like the way it looks. Um, I typically go for necklaces that are like that unless I'm wearing a statement necklace like I am today. Um, most of my pieces I either get from Charming Charlie or I get from my local antique store. Hi Shelly! Um, I really like them, so I always support local when I can. Um, my earrings are from the local jewelry store here where she makes her own jewelry. Uh, so I think it's Coyote, Coyote Jewelers or something, something like that. They're really nice too. They have really unique pieces in there. And the last thing I got from Charming Charlie is something that I didn't need. And I don't know how I'm going to use it quite yet, but it was so sti I thought it was so stinking cute and I love palms little pom-poms for the purse. Um, I wish it came in black because I feel like I could add it to all my purses at that point. Um, but this is pink and gold. I like the pink and gold colors, but I just wish it was black. But it has little freaking cat ears. How cute is that? It's so adorable. Um, I, I really like it. So let me show you the shoes that I got before I move on to the actual clothes. Come summer, I do like sandals. So to, to pre... Uh, there's so much stuff. Okay, <laughs> there's not that much stuff, but there is a lot of stuff. So, as if you've watched any of my other videos, you know that I have had gastric sleeve surgery. So I'm kind of going through the process of having to replace all my clothes per when the seasons arrive. Um, right now, I am in the process of trying to get summer clothes because I don't have any right now. Um, some of these items don't fit me perfectly right now. Um, they do button up and I can get them on, but they are a little snug. More, They're a little bit more snug than I would usually prefer. Um, but that's because two or, three months from, two or three months from now, when I'm probably going to be wearing these items, they will fit me perfectly. So don't judge it too harshly when you see them in this video and you're like, oh girl, that's too tight. I know, I did it that way for a reason. Um, but, the, but the first thing, I've lost weight in my feet. I was not expecting. I used to wear a nine, nine and a half. I wear an, I wear an eight and a half now, like straight, like it's freaking crazy. But anyways, I got these from Old Navy. They're just super basic sandals. I really like the color, um, and they're pretty comfortable. They fit nicely. They're size eight, eight, eight and a half, whatever they offer. And then I went to TJ Maxx. Um, this will have Lovesick, TJ Maxx, Target, and maybe something from Forever Twenty One, and Boohoo. I'm wearing Boohoo right now. Only a couple things from Forever 21 and Boohoo though. Um, the next thing I got are these sandals from Ralph Lauren. I actually bought another brown pair of sandals and I went and returned them because when I got them home I realized that I had about 10 pairs of brown sandals and I had forgotten that I ordered these. So I was like, I really don't need any more brown sandals but I don't have black ones. So I went back and got these because they're black 
And they have gold hardware. I prefer gold hardware over silver any day. Gold looks better with my skin tone, I feel, which is why all my jewelry is typically gold or bronze. Um, but yeah, they're just really nice. They have like a suede footbed. I imagine that will rub away and look like rubbish uh, by the end of summer, but they're pretty comfortable. Um, they were only like 30 bucks and they're really nice. They were from TJ Maxx. So let's go ahead and get into the rest of this haul. Hopefully you can see everything okay. You can't see the dog hair that I can see. I vacuum like a crazy woman. Um, but this is the first thing that I got. This is, this is from Boohoo. Um, and all, by the way guys, um, some of this stuff might be sold out already. If I can find it, I will link it down below. And if I can't find it, if I can find something similar to it, I will try to link that. Um, but yeah, so this is from Boohoo and it's just a simple shirt dress, long sleeve. It's like a lightweight jersey material. It'll be really comfortable in the summer. Um, and I just really liked it. Um, it fits me really nicely. I believe it's a size 14. Um, by the way, I'm 5'8". So I'm a little bit on the taller side, and I typically wear a size 12 or 14. Um, so yeah, just so you know, um, size-wise. Um, but it fits really nicely. I really like the way it looks. It's comfortable. It's lightweight. It'll be great for summer. It's a little bit shorter than I would normally wear, especially on the sides. Um, but I don't feel uncomfortable in it. So, And also, I'm like as pasty white as you can get. I like that. So... So the second thing I got is also from Boohoo. Once again, this is a size 14. I think this is already sold out, but it's just a really lightweight, once again, um, shirt dress. That's all it is. Um, you can find these at Target. You can find these pretty much anywhere. Maybe not this pattern, which is why I love this so much. It's a navy blue with like orange leaves and yellow leaves all over it and some light blue in there. It's just really pretty. Um, the sleeves can be rolled up to be a little bit cooler for the summer. Um, and it's just really loose fitting. It fits, but it fits nicely, and I could totally see wearing this with a belt as I do slim down a little bit more. Um, I could easily cinch this in and make it a little bit better fitting for my um, situation. Um, but here's a close up of the pattern. I just really adore this pattern. I love it. It's just really nice. It feels really nice quality. It's super soft. Um, yeah, and I just really adore things from Boohoo. Um, never buy things. Never buy anything full price at Boohoo. Like any of these stores, don't buy. Well, maybe Target. Because Target doesn't often have sales, but you can get coupons and stuff. But yeah, Boohoo and Lovesick, um, don't buy full price. <laughs> All right, the next thing is from Forever 21. Um, and it's just this really pretty white and pink floral uh, t-shirt dress, just like the other things. As you guys can tell, I do really like dresses for summer. Um, I prefer dresses because they're just more comfortable for me to wear. Um, in the summer, mainly, uh, I do have shorts, but I, they, shorts I'm still battling with and I need them to be a, a certain length. I do have a couple to show you today, but shorts aren't my favorite. Um, the sleeves are rolled up, it has like a little attachment here. Um, and like I said, it's just a really, really pretty wraparound dress. It looks nice. Um, the only problem I have with it is that it is see-through. Um, you can totally see my bra through it and probably my underwear. Sorry. Um, but yeah, it's just really nice. It has a really pretty floral pattern. I really like it. All right, so the next few things are actually from Old Navy. Um, the jeans are a size, these are jean shorts. They're a size 14. Um, they are 5 inch inseam, and I would prefer a 6 inch um, inseam, but these aren't too bad. They don't show too much of my inner skin right here which is what I'm self-conscious about because I do have loose skin right there um, so but they don't they don't show it too much but they come up pretty high on the waist so they help control the stomach a little bit more which is what I look for in both pants and shorts I like a higher rise um, but they fit really nicely they're pretty comfortable they're stretchy I like them they're the darker wash and the shirt is a size large from Old Navy um, and it just has this pretty little print on it. I'm sure you guys can see it's blue and white. We'll see how long I can keep this clean. Um, it is see-through. This will be nice on a beach day. <laughs> like I go to the beach. I'm in Ohio. But it would be. Um, I could see this perfectly tucked in to pants or jeans. It's slightly longer so it would probably look cute with leggings this summer as well. Um, and I just really like this shirt. And I like this outfit. And it wasn't too expensive. I think I got everything for 40% off so the pants the shorts were like $10 and the shirt was like 12 
So overall, it wasn't too expensive, and yeah, um, I just really like the way this looks for summer. Alright, so this next item, I'm going to keep the old navy shorts on for a little bit, because I have more shirts than anything. Um, just because of my weight thing, like I said, I'm not going to be buying too many more pairs of shorts, just because I'm just... I'm not going to wear them that often, so I only need one or two pairs, so I have like the two pairs that I'm going to have this summer and that's it, um, but I do prefer more shirts. Um, this shirt is from Target, this is from the Ava Plus range, um, and it has the cold shoulder top right here and it's a fluttery sleeve, so it's a really nice long fluttery sleeve. When I look for sleeves, I want something to come down to my elbow because I don't like my arm to show because it's, I have all the excess skin. Um, so I like something that's a little bit longer to be more flattering, um, and it looks pretty nice. Um, I like the stripes. They had it in like a navy and a black as well, but I, I chose the stripes just because, I don't know, I really like the stripes. Um, it's not see-through or anything, and it's lightweight. It's a heavy fabric, so it falls nicely on the body, and it doesn't show off every nook and cranny on the body. Um, but it's a rounded hem, which I th think is pretty flattering. Um, for the belly section. And yeah, I just I really like this shirt as well. The next shirt is again from Target and I can already tell you that it's sold out because I went looking for a different size in this. This is a size extra large from Target. It is from their normal um, section. Um, I wanted a size large because I knew that this would be too big as the summer went on and it's really light. It's just a lightweight hoodie. Like I said, it's a hoodie. has a really nice hood, has some drawstrings, um, and it's like a gray striped pattern. It's really lightweight, it doesn't, um, you can't see through it at all, at least I don't think, but I just like the way this looks with shorts or pants for a nice lightweight coat to wear. I, I really like this. I wish I could have found it in a large or a medium or something, so when this gets too big, I could have um, continued wearing it. All right, and the next set of clothes that I got is actually from TJ Maxx. I doubt I'll be able to find um, these things online, but it's just a basic black pencil skirt. It fits me really nicely. This is actually in a size 12. I do have the shorts on underneath. I was being lazy, um, trying to be quick. But it fits me really nice. Um, like I said, it is a size 12. It's really stretchy, and it just hugs the body really nicely. The shirt, um, I was just really drawn to this... Um, rosy mauvey color. Um, it is a little snug right now. It doesn't fit me exactly in the boob area, but like I said, as I lose a little bit more weight, it'll fit me perfectly fine. Um, but it just looks really nice. The shirt is just your basic button-down shirt. Um, it'll look good this summer with jeans, shorts, whatever I want to wear it with, and it can be dressed up as well. It's just a nice basic to have in the closet. Alright, so now let's get into the lovesick part. Um, just so you guys know, lovesick is closing so if you have a brick and mortar store definitely go check out their sales right now they're really pretty good um, online they're not they're all right they're 20 to 40 percent off but the in-store sales are a little bit better um, so I went into store because I find that lovesick is really difficult for me to find sizes in I find that they run larger um, so I went in and I picked up these shorts I picked up quite a few things actually um, I picked up these shorts they had the distress. They were rolled up, but I saw that I could undo the hem right here and roll them down more because I like, like I said, a little bit longer of a short. Um, they're a little bit distressed, but I really just liked them because I liked the color of the shorts. Um, these are a size 12. They fit me a little snug, but once again, I'm buying for the summertime, so I know I'll be a little bit smaller by then and they'll fit me perfect by the time I get to wear them. Um, the same with this shirt. The shirt's kind of cute. I like the color of the shirt, which is why I bought it. Um, but it has all these little patches on it. I don't really care about the patches, but I, um, I like the color of these shorts and this shirt together. And I actually bought this shirt to wear with these shorts, um, just kind of halfway tucked in, because I, I like that look of a high-waisted short with a shirt tucked in. And yeah, I, I really like the way that they look. I didn't feel like changing my sh the shorts, um, so this is the next shirt I got from Lovesick. This is in a size 00. zero. Once again, it's a slightly too tight. The shirt before was in a size 0. It, it's a little too tight, but you kind of have to try on clothes, like I said. Um, the rest of the items that I have are all in size 0. From so, th so for the next three items that I show you after this, they're all size 0. Um, this one, like I said, it doesn't hit me. It doesn't fall as nicely on my back area, um, but 
I feel like once I lose the little bit more weight that, I, that I'm going to be losing, um, I feel like it'll fit me a little bit better. I really like the detailing right here. It's crisscross. And I just, I really like olive green with my red hair and everything. So um, I like the stripes on the sleeves. The sleeves are long enough. It's a really thin material. It's lightweight. It'll be comfortable for some. Two things that I got from Lovesick is this camo um, overcoat. It's pretty long. It looks really cute with leggings. I like the back because it has like, you know, the little bit of a penguin tail. I, I don't know why I, I like that. Um, and I like the fact that, well, I just love camo and I love these colors. But I like the fact that as I get smaller, I can actually use the drawstrings to cinch in the waist a little bit more to give it more shape. Um, I haven't done that yet, but I really like this one. It's really nice. Uh, and yeah, I will get a ton of wear out of this. It has a nice light lining, so if there's cooler, windier days, which sometimes there are in Ohio during the summer, there's some windier days. Actually, like this, there are some windier days in Ohio, um, so the lining might come in handy. For a lightweight coat. Um, I actually like the way this looks with shorts. I didn't think about that, but I do like the way this looks with shorts as well. Um, I do like it with jeans too. The last shirt that I bought, the next thing is kind of like a coat too. The last um, shirt that I bought is this Harry Potter shirt. Um, and it just has Hogwarts on it with the crest and everything. I've seen this shirt in there a million times, but I've never wanted to pay for it. I think it was like 40 bucks. Uh, I got it in a size zero, like I said earlier. Um, but it was on clearance for for ten dollars, and I was going. I would. I'm totally willing to pay ten dollars for it, but I was not willing to pay forty for it. Um, but it's just your basic baseball tee, lightweight. Will be great for the summer. Once again, it has the long sleeves, and I just really like it. We'll see how long I can keep this white unstained, because I'm clumsy. And the last thing I bought um, is actually this. Uh, jean jacket with the linen sleeves um, and it has a hood you can remove the hood um, and this is in a size zero as well um, it's a little bit warmer um, I have actually been wearing it this spring um, but it fits nicely it looks nice I really I actually do really like this coat I like it with leggings I like it with jeans because I don't mind wearing jean on jean um, but yeah it's just it's just a really nice overcoat, um, and I have to be honest, the only reason why I bought it is because Sarah Ray Vargas wears it all the time, and she looks super cute in hers when she takes pictures, and I'm just like, I want to look like that, so that's why I bought it. Um, but anyways, that was everything that I recently purchased. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm sorry if it was everywhere. Um, I don't really know how to film these videos, types of videos, because I don't really know how to do the editing like most people do, where they do cutaways and voiceovers. Um, I haven't figured that out yet. I haven't had time to figure that out yet, so uh, maybe in the next one I will figure that out. I don't know. Maybe. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and thank you for joining me. I'll see you later.